Hey, this is BJ Gador with Delta Fit. Today we're doing a sweat and stretch program. Active recovery at its finest. We're going to burn a lot of calories, get your cardio up, but also help improve recovery between higher intensity workouts. Here's how it works. 60 seconds of a movement that gets you sweating using a low impact cardio movement that won't be as tough on your knees, back, or ankles, or feet. And then we go right to a stretch or self-massage movement. You're going to have to have a foam roll handy, a mat. If you sweat like a beast, like me, have a mat ready as well and a towel so you can towel down and not slip and get yourself hurt. Let's get after this today. 30 minutes, 60 on, 60 off. First movement, we're on the clock when I click, is going to be running in place. Ready, set, and here we go. We're going to start the basic, nice easy trot on the balls of your feet. Arms are going. Get the knees up a little bit higher. And then we go a little bit higher. The key is opposite arm leg throughout the entire movement. 60 seconds, baby. Get them up. Get them going. Wake it up. We got to get loose. Get that sweat going. Get that heart rate up. We go to that self-massage, those muscles. They're going to be ready to go. I can go a little lateral side to side on this. Keep those feet up. Keep pumping the arms. Fast arms, fast legs. If you had to go pee, you should have done it before we started, because right now, we'll get that going big time. Stay with it. Pump, 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 pump. Get them up. Get them up. Pump. Let's go. All the way through. Stand those toes. Drive those arms. First movement. Not a good sign if you're already tired. Stay with it. All right, right down to the floor. Rear shoulder with the roller. Get right in the back of the shoulder. It's a small spot, but once you find it, you will appreciate it. When this tightens up, you can get shoulder issues, tendonitis, things you don't want to deal with on presses, push-ups, rows, those big muscle building movements that we do in our main workouts. This is what nobody else does in their training, but you're getting Delta Fit and we do things right. Get it loose, baby. About five or 10 rolls on each side right in the back of the shoulder. Up next, we got something called ground zero jumps. You will love these, and we're gonna do them. Loosen it up. Right back up. We got about 10 seconds before we start. Ground zero jump. Think about a downhill skier. We're gonna hinge back at the hips, flat back, chest out. We'll start these nice and slow. Pull through, reach back. So toes, hips back, heel. Start nice and easy. You're gonna really feel a nice stretch in the chest shoulders here. Power through, don't round the spine. Once that feels good, a little more rhythmic. Don't leave the floor. That's why it's called ground zero. Let's go baby, reach, pull through. Extend to the toes, hips. Now we can go a little bit higher. Oh baby, taste it. About 10 minutes into this, you will start to taste the fat loss. And you know what? tastes real good. It's going to taste good all day. Pull through. Now get a little more extension at the arms. Keep reaching back. Come on, finish off. All the way through. A little more height. Still reaching. Hips. Butt back. Finish it. All the way. Yes. Longest minute ever. But we're done. Chest. Put the ch uh, roller down. Right front shoulder. We're gonna massage right on the chest. Make sure someone wants to walk in the room right now, you put yourself in a very compromising position. So make sure they know what's going on. Or lock the doors. That's the benefit of working out at home. Don't have to deal with the looks in the stairs. Dig in there. When this muscle tightens up, it really puts your shoulder in a tough position. It internally rotates it, making you kind of like a hunchback, and then your shoulder will click and ache. And if you do a lot of push-ups, this can definitely tighten up big time. So really roll it out. Again, about five or 10 rolls on each side is all we need. About five seconds here, seal jacks. We'll go to a crossover jack halfway through, cardio and chest. We're here, open, get it going. Nice and easy. We'll mix these up a little bit too. Really opens up the chest. Take a look at that from the side. Tall, 
on the balls of the feet. Now stick, back, stick, back. Shoulders down and back. Get it going, keep it going. Now we're going to cross, cross the feet. So we get some nice, good hip rotation going. Woo, come on. Don't you trip, stay with it. Let's go baby, all the way. Stay on those toes, keep crossing. Wake it up. Come on, almost. Stay with it. Quick feet, quick feet, supple feet, soft feet, sexy feet. Get them. Come on, quicken it up, quicken it up. Keep crossing. Finish seals, almost. Finish it. Great job. Upper mid back, critical area of the body to get loose. Put this down. If you at all spend time at a desk, in a car, or in a seated position, you gotta do this one a lot. We're gonna go right from the nape of the neck, no lower than mid back. Just trying to mobilize what's called your thoracic spine or upper mid back area. Again, improving posture, preventing a lot of issues at the shoulder. And also if you're rounded up top, when you squat and lunge, you'll put your back and knees in a tough position as well. So get that one rolling big time. We're back up. <sighs> Sweating, stretching, burning, all three. That's why you're gonna love this workout. If you don't love it, too bad. We're going for 30 straight minutes here. Next, we got front to back hops. So imaginary line, I'm on the balls of the feet, back and forth quick. Get over that line, get over that line. Back and forth quick. I'm swinging the arms, nice and athletic. Now, I can do that side to side. Keep going here, alternate the pattern. I can also do a couple on one and then a couple on the other. If it bothers you, go back to the two. Otherwise, we are getting big nasty going on one leg. If you don't like to dance, this is about as close as you will get to dancing, trust me. I'm a terrible dancer, but this makes me feel a little more adequate as a man, because I can move my feet a little bit. Get it going. Back and forth quick. Finish strong, side to side. Arms moving. Anytime you can get those arms going with the legs, that is ideal. Come on, baby. Wake it up. Great job. We're gonna foam roll your calves. You know what those are. We're doing a lot of these cardio drills right now so those calves can tighten up. When the calves get tight or sore, you are almost guaranteed to get knee pain at some point, and we don't want that. So get these nice and loose. If you're a runner, do this anytime before you run, afterwards, between workouts. Another benefit, a little bit of a tricep workout because we have to support ourselves here. I could make this harder by crossing my leg over and getting that going. Take an inside angle, straight ahead to the side. I want to get the lateral, middle, and inside calf at the same time all together. About 15 seconds before we start to sweat again. Next move, kind of like the front to back hop, except now side to side. We don't want to just do movements in the sagittal front to back, up, down, when we got to go side to side too, otherwise you're at risk of injury. Here we go. Feet together, tight and quick. They're moving together as one, you know, I'm not plopping together. Tight and quick. All right, now feels good. Still go side to side, but bring it forwards and backwards. Mm. Mm. You can feel it. Feel the juices. Ooh, the sizzle, the energy. Man, if fitness is about one thing, it's about energy. All day long, all day strong. Come on. Side to side, tight quick now. Couple on one, couple on the other. Couple on one, couple on one. Keep going back and forth, mix it up. Great for knee, ankle, hip stability. By the way, we're sweating a little bit. Heart rate's up, but not as boring as being on an elliptical or a treadmill for 60 straight minutes. Plus, we're at home or in a hotel room. Foam roll, grab it. We're going lats. Your wings, when these tighten up, they round your shoulders. So what we're gonna do is open them up, get locked in, armpit, 
to rib cage. Get it loose. Oh, bring that heart rate down. The muscles, when they're sweaty, blood is flowing to the area. They're much more easily massaged. You won't be, a, won't be as painful and they'll get loose a lot faster, which is great. And get right in that rib cage area too. Let's switch sides. Again, during all these where there is one side at a time, do about five or 10 rolls on each side before we switch. Up next, we got skipping in place. The most scandalous of movements. Here it comes, get ready. Loosen it up, baby. All right, here we go. Skips, now, we're in place. Start nice and easy. Powering through the toe. Got a quick story for you. My first job interview, I skipped from the parking lot into the office. I skipped to the man who was interviewing me. I shook his hand. Now, I didn't get the job that day, but I skipped beautifully. Bad story. Just stick with it. Punch through. Power through. Follow, get the knee up. We can build up a little bit. Notice how the arm action happens. Great for power. Every year after 30 years old, you start to lose those beautiful hard rock or rock hard, whichever you prefer, fast twitch muscle fibers. And this keeps those going. So if you don't trip on a curb or something, you'll be able to react, not fall and get hurt. Just imagine being in a prairie, a beautiful prairie alone, maybe in the nude and you're just skipping and you're enjoying it. The sun is beating down. That's enough. Skips to another foam roll movement. We're gonna go for your quads, front thigh. When these tighten, knees ache. So get right on there. We're gonna go from your hip flexor, which is right in front of your pelvis, to just above the kneecap. You usually find the middle part. All right, right there is where it's most tender. You can do a couple reps called active release to loosen that up. Get it going, baby. Stretch it, five or 10 rolls on each side. Let's switch. A little bit of core work here. You know, keep your core tight. Don't let your back hyper extend. Another 20 seconds before we start to sweat again. You like to skip, don't you? Unfortunately, that was the last skip for today, but you can always skip on your own time as well. Squats, lunges, these really hit the quads hard. So loosen those babies up. Next one, we got mountain climber. Get down, first start here. Palms, the palms stabilize your scapula. So push the palms to the floor. Lock it in tight, chest, now, feels good. One knee at a time without moving my back. So I don't wanna flex. The goal is hip motion without moving up my lumbar spine, my lower back area. Now, if you feel like getting a little bit freaky with me, let's go a little faster. All right, let's build it up. Keep loading the palms, don't shift back. Stay right there. Now speed it up more. Ooh, feel right in the gillets. Mm. Lock it in, palms. Come on, baby, stay with it. Wake it up, sweat right now. Core stability, challenge it, almost there. God, these minutes take forever. Don't stop, all the way. Get it going, you can back off to a hold, but you're not going to. Get up. All right, foam roll. Outer hip thigh. Here's how this works. Look at that. So multi-talented, I even fix the set while I'm working out. Outer hip thigh. So right outside the hip to right above the knee. People get something called lateral knee pain or runner's knee. Distance runners, marathoners, triathletes, you crazy people who run and bicycle for hours who I don't understand, do this. Helps a lot. Switch sides. Keep locking it down, baby. Same thing like on the quad, you find a really tender spot, stop on it, flex, extend, active release. Oh man. Up next, we got squats for the next sweat portion. Oh, good. I'm starting to pool my own sweat, which means some good things are happening. It's organic, by the way, all natural. All right, get it up. Squats, toes slightly out, hips back. Feel that position first. That's our home. You should be able to live there. Power through the heels. We'll start nice and easy, just reach squats. 
Okay, we'll go a little more dynamic as we go. Push the knees out, don't let them cave in. Out, outer heels loaded. Active range of motion, top glutes. Now, we can start to speed it up. Reach, eyes ahead, chest out, knees out. I can go a little bit of a hop into it. I can go drop squats, just dynamically. X pattern, X pattern, ahead, jump squats. Mix it up, woo, walk around. Right now, if your neighbors don't know what you're doing, they might think something else is going on. Hopefully no one's downstairs. Chest, tall, about five seconds left. Get it going, almost, reach, reach. Boom, get out of there. Up next, glutes. Here, just to be clear, I'm locking it in. Outer hip, five or 10 rolls each side. Sciatica, you probably know someone who has it. Shooting pain down the leg. We're on this muscle right now called your piriformis. When it tightens, pinches your sciatic nerve. We're loosening that up. About five or 10 rolls. You'll almost always notice one side's worse because when you sit during the day, you usually lean to one butt cheek over the other. It's like that family with two kids. One kid is always more liked than the other. It's not fair, but it is what it is. Hopefully that's not you. Get that outer leg, baby. Good, we got five or 10 rolls. Up next, in about 10 seconds, we've got progressive push-ups. So now we'll go back to that push-up position. You're gonna go through a functional range of motion, meaning only down as far as you can, tucking the elbows. So right away, glutes, palms, chest. Just start there. Feel that good position. No humping, no stinking. Lock it in tight, okay? Now, we're here, very good. I'm gonna elbow in, punch. Elbow in, punch. Keep it rocking, baby. Elbows in, punch up. Control it down, punch up. Control, punch. Tight. Now, we got about 30 seconds left, which is bad news because I'm already tired, but now we're going a little bit faster. Finish it off. Tuck the elbows, stay tight. You want to get to the point where doing a minute of push-ups isn't death, all right? Now, whether that happens or not is a different story. Lock it in, baby. We got about 10 seconds. Stay with it. Palms, elbows in, glutes tight. Ah! Last one. Get out of there. Great job. All right. Next, we're gonna foam roll your adductors, inner thigh. So, put the roller right inside the thigh. Please, please be cautious of the family jewels. Do not wanna skip on one of those. Get all the way from the inside of the thigh to the groin. Dig in there. Five or 10 rolls each side. These adductors, most of us at some point have sprained or strained, I'm sorry, strained your groin muscle. So you'll probably have scar tissue in there anyway for maybe if you played athletics as a youth, child, whatever that is. So this is a good thing to open up and just keep that going. Another 14 seconds, we'll go back to a sweat. As you can tell, when you exercise, you become a different person. A little crazier, things don't tend to make sense. If it seems like I'm speaking another language, it's because I probably am. All right, we're back up. And we got progressive lateral squats. So feet double shoulder width, hips go back to the side. Punch up, back to the side. Punch up. So I'm going side to side, stretching here, hips and glutes active here. A little different view, so I'm not driving. Push the hips back and then to the side. Shoulders stay square. Now, last rep on this side. You stay there if that's challenging, otherwise we go lateral lunge. Step, hips back, land on that heel to midsole, not in the balls of your feet. That heel to midsole engages those glutes, which make everybody happy because those get those going. It also protects the knees and the back. The glute is the most metabolically active muscle in the body. The more you get it going, the less belly fat you have, and the more people squeeze it. I like when people squeeze my butt. All right, stay tight. Next, next stretch. Back of the hands. 
on your lower back. Flare the elbows out. Now, relax, neck roll. At the desk, just relax, breathe. Close your eyes if you need to. Roll it side to side. You elevate your shoulders a lot when you type. A lot of people hold stress in their upper back neck. Roll, kind of take your nose to the armpit, do a little test. Beyond making sure you're not stinking too much, that helps get the neck stretch in a different way. Keep going side to side. Up next, we got another push-up variation. I know you're thrilled about that. Too bad, it's coming up. No choice, almost. Loosen it up, baby. We got T push-ups in five seconds. All right, get ready. Push-up position, elbows in, open. Now, here's how you modify. Just do the, the T rotation at the top. You don't have to actually do a push-up. Elbow in, push. We're gonna just rotate sides. This works our core in all three planes of motion right here. Pull the shoulders down and back. Palm, back. Let's go, baby. Wake it up. The goal of this workout, right, so this is a workout for most people. If it's your first time doing this, you're probably like, why the hell did I buy this product? This is so hard. But you know what? The goal is you can do this anytime and feel good. Not overly strained. We did some sweating, we got some heart rate up, but it wasn't too hard. It's more of a recovery workout. That's the goal, to find a way to be able to move with vigor every single day. That is how you get lean. Stay with it, almost. Elbows in, great job. We got chest stretch. Take a towel, preferably a men's health towel. So that's optional. Get here. Pull your shoulders back. Don't hyperextend the back. Squeeze the butt. And we're just gonna open up that chest. Now, if you feel a good stretch and you wanna get a little more mobility at the upper back, without moving into your lower back, open the chest to one side and then go to the other. Stay tight. Keep squeezing the butt. Keep rooting those heels into the floor. Let's get nice and loose. Almost there, baby. Open up that chest. This will make you feel like a new man or a woman. Trust me, a tight chest, bad news. Put your posture at great peril, all right? Great work there, about five seconds or so. We've got progressive pivoting rotational squats. Write that down, I'm locked in. I'm gonna squat, watch this back foot. Pivot, belly button forward, back, pivot. Pivoting feet and hip rotation is the X factor movement when it comes to metabolic exercise, because no one does it. All people do is just keep their feet flat and they lose athleticism. This pattern allows you to change direction safely, all right? Gets the core and glutes going in a new way, feels good, we can speed it up. So you can accelerate the down portion. It's almost kind of like a combat athlete guarding themselves, shifting, ducking, shifting, ducking. Where's my belly button? Always forward. Don't twist the back. Mm. Woo! Mm. You know you love it. Twist it out. Powerful hips. It's all in the hips, baby. Get it going. Power through. Power through. Power through. Great job. Now we got hip flexor stretch. You can use a sofa cushion, pillow, or an infant. It's been done before. Get it locked in for the knee. Take the back toe on the floor, chest out. We're gonna do five reps, abs tight. Drive the hips forward. We're gonna mobilize this ankle and this hip. Bring it back, stay stiff. Let's get five reps on this side and then five reps on the other side. This guy in the ankle. One more, then we switch. Drive it right through. Let's switch it up. Same thing, other side. 90-90 position, squeeze the glute. Push through, bring it back. Push through, bring it back. Keep the abs tight, do not hyperextend your lower back. Keep it stiff and tight, only moving at the hip. Last one, drive the glute through. Let's stand up. We got step over, duck under. Lift, boom, 
lift, boom. Mobilizing the hips, hip rotation, and a good deep squat pattern. This is great. Try doing this with stilettos. That's what I do at home in the dark when no one's watching. Don't tell anybody about that. Keep it up, baby. Open, step, open, step. I can speed it up. Technically, I could do this type of pattern where I do a couple each way. You kind of like a tarantula when you do it. Doesn't matter. Open, step. Let's go, baby. We only got a couple more rounds and you're done for today, okay? Energy all day after this, all day long. Open, step, open, step. Feels good to be loose and mobile. Strength means nothing without mobility. How else can you apply it? You gotta be able to move through full ranges of motion. Boom, good. Adductor stretch. So get like this, but open up to the side. Inside of the, uh, the arm, contacting the leg. I'm gonna push through, mobilize this ankle and this groin. Five reps each side. Ooh, the groin feels kinda nice right now. Loosen that up. Now, if I did this cold without a sweat, I would not get nearly as much motion in my hip capsule. This is key. That's why you sweat and that's why you stretch. Switch sides. Same thing on the other side. As I'm coming here, use that arm to push it out to get a better stretch. Push it out. Five reps each. Another couple reps here, then we switch. Push it out, back. Push it out, back. Beautiful. Last one, lunge. Last thing today. We sweat, then we stretch, and we're done. I'm tall up top, load the heel, control down, pull through the hip. Control down, pull through the hip. Check me out right here. Right vertical shin, glute, front thigh parallel. If you can't get that low, only go as low as you can while staying tall up top. If you can't lunge, why are you running? It's a terrible idea, because lunging basically gets you ready to run. If you can't do it through full ranges of motion, then you are in trouble. Now, forward lunge, progression. Tall, push, heel to midsole, back fast. Control, punch through the heel. Control, punch. Control, punch. Control, punch. Woo, almost. Feel those legs. Ooh, that just feels so good right now. Getting loose, getting loose. Almost. Finish it all, baby. Finish it. All right, last thing for the butt. Let's open up those hips. I want you to get like this. Right leg, hook it, grab the other leg, and we're gonna do a 15 second hold. Lay back, relax, just enjoy it, because we got everything done. Last thing here, and you are on with your day. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's switch it, finish off this side, and then, you better shower, because you stink right now. You sweat hard, baby. Finish it off. 10 seconds left here. Keep that back in the floor. Just open up that glute. Take pressure off the back. Oh, you got to love to sweat and stretch. Finish it. OK. Great job. That was your sweat and stretch active recovery workout. Don't forget what we did. We burned some fat, got some cardio. Relax the muscles to help recover between high intensity sessions. Got super loose and energized and on with your day in only 30 minutes. You can do it anytime, anywhere. BJ Gador with Men's Health Delta Fit. I will see you next time.